hi this is a zvp python and uh, my opponent is maybe i think here hp plus this season i'm not sure um at least be uh, and uh on python i might have covered this earlier but uh, i'll say it again uh on this map it's very important to note that the expansion distances are very long which means that uh, zerg might have a little bit more trouble getting his second expansion which in theory brings him to a slight disadvantage since his opponent is going to be fast expanding most likely anyway he might do a fast get to to get as well but a fast expansion is what usually happens on python um but on the other hand it's very hard for him the protoss to take his second expansion as well since it's not really like on the path to his natural so uh he needs to keep per pretty good map control cannon up early and properly and so on to be able to keep it keep it up and keep it and so on uh sorry for this i i had to minimize my starcraft since it was, it was lagging um and also in this replay i'm i decided to go for a five hat build uh the important thing to note about this build is that you're gonna have a very good early economy and you're gonna have a, a bigger hydro army than he has that he can do with whatever zeal pressure he might you might even think of like four gate zeals five gate early game zeals you're gonna have more hydras than that you you won't have problems in killing that and you're also gonna have a better economy than him early on but the bad thing is that you're gonna have trouble getting a decent uh, like mid game uh since since you're gonna be spending so much uh, so much uh and uh to those hydras and uh, since you're gonna have your tech late it's gonna mean that, mean that you won't really have like uh tech and upgrade as early as you would have normally so in exchange for very strong early game and uh very strong mid game you won't really have a very powerful late game so it's very important that you're able to do a lot of damage in the in the mid and early game perhaps not early game but uh, at least on the mid game um and also a very important thing to note about this map th this map what's like different in terms of playing for example on blue storm is that at the your second expansion uh you gotta send a, a drone over there very early on blue storm for example you can send it when you have around 100 150 minerals or so or even 200 and you won't be to that late but on this map you gotta send it very early on notice that how i already sent my scouting drone over there uh, to that expansion location so i'm able to figure out like place it when i have 300 minerals uh actually it's going to be pretty precise when my drone is over there the since the distances are so long and of course it's a slight disadvantage that i that the expansion locations are so far away from each other since that makes me slightly more vulnerable to early game rushes but on the other hand when doing this build uh it's important to note that uh, that since you're going to have an early, very strong uh, early and mid game hydras, uh, he won't really have any sort of army that can run over that. Uh, you're not going to have much trouble keeping those expansions in the early game or mid game since you're going to have so much larvae and so on, uh, and like hydras and so on. And on the other hand, you, since you're going to have so many units, his second expansion is going to be delayed a huge amount. Uh, and th that's why uh, with this build order, it's very important to double expand especially on python uh and on python this build order is especially th strong like i said since after all he can truly take the second expansion um notice also how i place my extractor even though i'm not finding anything from it i decided to try and get, take a chance and mislead him a bit i don't really lose that much since i'm gonna be droning up so much uh anyway but uh but that that extractor early on will really distract him and he doesn't know anything what i'm doing i might be doing muta which fast muta muta even i might be doing lurkers i might be doing hydro pressure uh he kind of needs to keep ge guessing and that that was a really powerful and good choice especially since i was able to seal it uh, seal his probe away pretty much instantly afterwards so right now since that ramp is sealed with two links he doesn't really have any way of like figuring out what i'm doing except maybe that one zealot which he is sending over uh he he's attempt he's attempting to send one zealot to add some pressure early on and also to scout my main um uh, kind of like run by my links and uh, without ignoring them and trying to see just whatever tech i might have but uh i i made a one or two links extra 
just in case so and also started a sunken colony over there so I'm able to stop the sea lot without any problems and uh, with this build order it's very important that you are not making a lot of links like six links is more than enough and uh, Except if, of course, if he makes some sort of early zeal pressure, in that case, you're gonna make a couple more. Uh, but meanwhile, you're just gonna be droning. You're you're gonna be droning all the way until your hydro dead is finished. And with that, you you try to gain a superior economy compared to him, uh, like on the early game. And you're gonna ha you try to have pretty much more workers than him. You you try to have better better economy. Uh, and with that, you're you're kind of trying to buy something from having a worse economy when the game moves on which is the disadvantage of this build um, and like I said it's very important to keep making drones um, me meanwhile you, you can't make any spare per spare links pretty much you just gotta drone up till you have hydras un unless you're especially forced otherwise so basically you make five hatcheries before anything else uh, after those five hatcheries, you take double ex extractor since you're gonna have five hatcheries producing hydras. So, if you don't make a double ex extractor, you won't be able to upgrade those hydras and you won't be able to keep producing them. It just takes way too much gas. Uh, also, I, I scouted his main with my overlord. Uh, it's very important to know what he's doing. He decided to in skip uh, Corsairs, it seems, and instead make. Um, make a cannon or two at his main uh, which is also an option if you, if you don't mind making an extra cannon to your main then you don't really need to make a Corsair oh he made a Corsair after all so uh, it's been a while since I played this so I, I, I forgot I guess um, but uh, when he's making Corsairs it's very important to to uh, hide your overlords as well as possible notice how I just I'm bringing it away I'm trying to make him uh, make it take make him take as long time as simply possible before he's able to figure out where my overlord is and that way my some of my hydras will be there killing or protecting that overlord before it is actually dead and that way he he won't be able to use dark templars to stop me from containing him and uh, adding pressure with my hydras if i can uh, bring some hydras to that overlord which is basically next to his, his uh, choke and uh and protect that overlord it means that he won't be able to use dark templars like i already said uh and drive my hydras away and that's really important when doing this build you you just gotta somehow get the overlord pretty early to to wear your, to his choke and through that uh, you basically try and try and be able to add some extra pressure and take whatever advantage out of this build uh if he made it like dark templars and so on um and you you lose that overlord you're gonna lose a huge amount of that advantage you might have gained with that two, with this five hat build in fact you're gonna be a huge amount of be, a huge amount behind so if he makes a man seal of build or if you're able to protect your overlord near his choke long enough then you're gonna be pretty well off uh, at this point now that, now that my hydro dead is finished uh, I just keep making hydras constantly I upgrade my hydras as much as possible and since he also took an overlord for me I kind of had low supply and a lot of spare money and minerals I decided to make a layer be a bit like earlier than I usually do usually you start your range before starting the range or about the same time or so uh, but this time I had to adapt since I lost some overlords and I had to do some other stuff notice now how, how good that was my I would have been driven off completely with these hydras if I didn't have that overlord over there. He was a bit careless with it, uh, and I guess he regretted it like a lot right now. He's forced to make a lot of cannons, and he's gonna have really a lot of trouble uh, defending against this this hydra pressure. Um, of course, it's very important that you don't like take this thing too far. Uh, you gotta n know your limits. You, uh, with this build, you can. Of course you're gonna get a lot of hydras but you still gotta know when to quit and know when to stop it's a very important thing that, that in general overall as well that you're able to quit when when you need uh, 